So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into Abacus AI. This is largely the best AI platform if you are truly engaged in understanding how to use AI and want to take full advantage of everything that AI has to offer. This is the all-in-one platform that has every AI model, every AI framework, and pretty much all you need to become an AI powerhouse. I'm going to be diving into every single feature and all of course their new updates. And I'm going to be diving into how you can get started with this model. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. And let's dive into exactly how to begin. So with this platform, unlike other platforms, it does have many different AIs for you to choose from. If you just click the drop down right here, you can see that what you're able to do is you're able to pick from many different AI systems. Now, I'm going to dive in a moment into all of these different AIs. But what you're able to do is you're able to easily access and switch between different models. We've got GPT 4.0, Claude 3 Sonnet, a few secret models that I'll dive into in a moment. Of course, Llama 3.1, Gemini's new advanced model, Abacus's own model, and of course, O1 Preview, O1 Mini, and GPT 4.0 Mini. Now, this is really useful because this allows you to switch between different models without switching between different websites. And you're going to see in a moment why this is so effective. So for example, let's say we want to ask a simple prompt. This system is really amazing because it does have some small features that others don't. You can see here that when I entered my prompt, can you give me advice on how to grow an AI YouTube channel? When I get my response, I can also have these small changes. For example, I can click the humanize button right here and I can immediately get some changes to this AI system. You can see I can change this to funny and clever. I can add additional instructions and I can get a response that feels a little bit more human and I can get a response that allows me to digest the content in a much easier way. Now, this isn't the only thing. Abacus AI has some unique features that I really want to show off. One of them being Route LLM. So Route LLM is really cool because this is something that allows you to manage your expenses. So LLMs like GPT-4 and all of the newer models are quite powerful, but they're pretty expensive to run. Route LLM basically reduces the cost by directing simpler queries to less expensive models while reserving complex queries for more powerful models. This is going to mean that you largely never get rate limited unlike other areas. So for example, let's say I can say, what's a cool sandwich to make? It's probably going to give this to a simple model. Right now it's deciding routing to GPT-4.0 and you can see that it's there. But for example, let's say I said create a Python trading bot. Or in fact, let's say I said create a trading bot for BTC using PineScript, you can see that it manages to route this thing to Claude Sonnet 3.5. So this is remarkably useful because this allows you to have a dynamic chat where you basically have an AI brain that allows you to get your responses all in one place. You don't need to switch to Claude when you want to message Claude, switch back to GPT 4.0. You put your prompts in and it's going to give you the best response based on every model available. This is something that I think is remarkably effective and I really, really like it because it just saves you so much time. So many times I think, ah, yes, I need to use Claude for this or, oh yes, I should have actually used GPT-4.0 for, oh, for that. I can actually tell you a personal example. The other day, I actually asked Claude 3.5 something really simple and I was like, ah, I know I'm going to get rate limited soon and I really just wish I was using Route LLM because it would have saved me in that scenario. This is for some of you that just want one area to message your AI. This is going to be that area. Now, Abacus AI doesn't just excel there. It also has another area that I think is really useful. For example, if you click the drop down menu one more time, we've got this new feature called Search LLM. This is where you can ask anything that's quite updated to the internet. So, for example, I can say, What happened recently? with the port automation strikes. And if you're wondering why this is useful, LLMs are useful because of course they can give you in LLMs are useful because they can give you information really quickly, but they are essentially a time capsule of a certain period. You need the internet in order to access up-to-date information so you can engage with what's going on. So let's say for example, let's click enter 
And now what it's going to do is it's going to search the internet for the relevant information. So you can see it searches the web, then analyzes the results and gives me a decent amount of information based on my query. You can see it managed to search. You can see exactly what it searched. So if it doesn't return the right, you know, query, you can once again, search again. And of course it analyzed the results and you can see that it looks at all of these news stories, which is really useful because you can fact check this. So you can see, maybe you don't like CNN. You can see, okay, that's CNN. I, I'm not going to, you know, use this or you can click into it. You can see what they've said. And of course it gives us a nice response. I chose this example because it's relevant to the AI field. A lot of port workers are worried about the automation. Additionally, you can see on the news right here, that this is going to be other news related to it and other articles that you can click. It's also got helpful videos. So you can go over to YouTube or other websites where you can click. And of course you can look at certain images. Now what's interesting as well is that it gives you related words. So you can go ahead and you can search for many other things. It's really effective at this. And this is something that is just really useful because I find myself switching to Google often. And this is just a major, major time saver. Now, something that I didn't know that this could do, but I guess this recent update allows it is that this can actually quickly generate a PowerPoint deck. So for example, I have the prompt here that says, create a presentation on the Indian revolt of 1857 in five slides. Return with a PPTX file with bullet points and title on each slide. So I click enter and you're gonna see that now it's able to give me a presentation. Firstly, it does the outline of this and then you can see it manages to generate this PowerPoint presentation. I would argue that this is remarkably useful as it allows you to get information relatively quickly in a certain file formats that allows you to work more efficiently. So I can click download and now it is just opening. So I've clicked download. I'm just waiting on the file to open. And you can see right here that it's able to give me a quick PowerPoint presentation that looks really effective. There's many different ways that I can now go ahead and change this. So I can go ahead and change the font and do all of this different stuff, but you could do this for absolutely any topic. I know that there are many of you that use ChatGPT in your presentations and doing this creates a much easier way to start and get ahead in terms of starting your PowerPoint presentation. This is something that I wish I knew about a long time ago. That's why I'm glad I'm making this video for you all. Next, we actually have image generation. This is my favorite part of Abacus AI because this system is automatically updated with the best model. If OpenAI releases a better image model, it will automatically be integrated into Abacus AI. But it was only a few days ago, in fact, 48 hours ago, that Flux 1.1 Pro was released. And we've already seen that this is integrated into Abacus AI, and these images that you're getting are super high quality. This is something that is remarkably effective because we don't have to swap between multiple AI image generation. We simply get that image instantly into our chatbot. And it's something that works really, really well based on any conversation we're having. For example, I don't know about you guys, but there have been many times that I am talking to Claude 3.5 and it simply can't generate an image. I'm not sure if image generation is ever coming to Claude, but this is something that just makes it so much easier because we can stay natively within the chat, access Claude 3.5, but also get the best image generation that there is to offer. I don't know any other platform that can do that. And that's why I use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Chat LLM Teams by Abacus AI also has a matrix agent. You can see here that when we run this matrix agent, it is able to fetch real-time data and is able to do this for a variety of different tables. What's really cool about this is that you can do this for many different things and it works remarkably effective in analyzing certain pieces of data. If you want to create your own AI agent, what you can do is click AI engineer. Then you can either create your custom chatbot or create your AI agent. And then what you'd have to do is simply just create something very simple. For example, what we can do is have a news reporter agent. Then I can click submit and it's going to go ahead and create me a custom agent that is based on my specifications. Of course, this is already a template. 
But you can see that this is something that is so effective that it's able to do a lot of the heavy lifting for me. So you can see here that what I created quickly was a AI agent that is able to search for certain pieces of news. You can see it says, here's a short summary of what we've achieved. We've created and deployed the news reporter agent on the Abacus AI platform. You can access the agent at this link right here. All you'll need to do is click this link. Then of course, all you're able to do is just put in whatever topic you want and it's able to immediately analyze the news and give you exactly what's going on. You can see the news reporter agent app is able to give you the summaries, the highlights and the key details and insights. This is remarkably useful because not only can you immediately generate working effective AI agents with the Abacus AI slash chat LLM teams, AI engineer, it does all of the heavy lifting for you, including all of the coding, all of the deployment, and of course, all of the executions and bug fixing. This is something that I truly haven't seen from anything else which makes this stand out that much more. Do not forget to check out the link in the description so you can access all of these amazing features at Abacus AI Chat LLM Teams.